All right, welcome back in. Time for Imagination Station here on WTOL 11 your day. But before we continue, a big congratulations. Sarah, you know what this is? Yeah. Your 100th episode here on WTOL 11 yeah. your day. How about that? Round of applause. <laughs> I think you've been uh, somewhat cursed with about 99 of them with me, though. No, no, it's always good. I'm glad you came out of retirement today. Yeah, to exactly. Yeah, <laughs> happy to be back for the uh, the golden reunion of this, uh, so to speak. All right, so what are we getting into today? We're not just going to be playing in the sandbox, are we? No, but that's where we're going to start. So we're okay. actually going to step down here. And um, what I want you to do is start building me a sandcastle. So I've got some wet sand on the table, and you're just going to fill up your cup there. And um, what we're talking about today is mechanically stabilized earth. Okay. Um, and we're actually starting by building a sand castle because this is kind of the first engineering that we do as kids. Right. Um, go and to the beach, go to the ocean, you're going to yeah. build a sand castle. So go ahead and yeah, flip your cup over. Perfect. All right, now take off your top cup there. And now we can peel away your sides. And look at that, you have a beautiful sand castle. Not bad. Okay, now I also built a sand castle. Okay. Okay. So why don't you apply some pressure to yours? Okay. So just put like your hand right on top and go ahead yeah. and apply pressure to it. Kind of crumbles and falls apart, right? It certainly is. Now that's because um, that sand, it allows some friction to not build up. And so our particles, they kind of slide past each other. Our grains aren't very sturdy. Okay. Um, but why don't you go ahead and put your hand right over my sand castle and apply some pressure to the top again. Now mine seems a little bit stronger than yours, oh, right? Hey, what's going on? Here? And you can actually push on it pretty hard. Okay. Yeah, look at that. So I actually reinforced my sand castle. So between each layer of sand, I actually put a small piece of this screen. And what that does is it allows the friction to kind of um, build up. And so we have like a lateral reinforcement between each of our layers. I mean, I would have thought Elmer's glue. <laughs> no, it's no. really just a screen. It's really just a How screen. How many screens are in there? Um, probably like five or six. Okay. So not too many, um, but you know, we always like to do things a little bit bigger at Imagination Station. Of course. So now we're actually going to build an eight by eight sand box. Okay. Okay. So um, in here, we're going to put, I'll like scoop in some sand and then you actually get to use that cool tool. Okay. And what you're going to do is kind of stamp that sand and pack it down nice and tight. And then between each layer of sand that goes into our box, we're going to put another screen of the same material. Okay. Nice big square Fire in away. there. Yep. And we're gonna put one of those, yeah, go for it. You wanna scoop on it? Yeah, again? go for it. And right. then between each one of these layers, um, we're gonna use the same process. Okay. okay, so we'll just be kind of building away and we'll fill up this big square. Now, to prove just how strong this is, now we know the one on the table looked pretty strong, right? But the people at home can't really see how hard you were pushing on it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a square block and I'm gonna put it on a, a square block that we have down here. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, we've used the same process. We filled up that eight by eight square, and I'm actually gonna allow you to stand on that one. Oh boy. <laughs> I have to trust science here, Yeah, huh? be careful you don't fall. Okay. Okay, but you can actually stand right on top of that. Look at that. Now, that's some pretty cool science happening, right? Not bad. Okay. So you could even jump on that if you wanted to. I'm um, on one foot. Okay, Ooh. okay. <laughs> now, just to prove that I didn't like play any tricks or anything, yeah. uh, I can actually pull this apart. So you can see all of the layers that we have in there. And like I said, there's one about every inch or so. I mean, I would assume the science behind this too, it, it, big implications for construction and engineering, building tall buildings, building roadways, exactly. uh, building bridges. You, know, you always see the construction crews when they're building roads and bridges, they do the the, the mesh, uh, metal mesh. In yeah, like the, the rebar concrete. in between yeah. the concrete. I suppose it's probably a similar process. It is, and actually um, this process is similar to what they use on a, an exit ramp. Okay. So think about that big incline of dirt or earth that's right. going up. We see that nice concrete wall that goes along the side and that helps with erosion but there's layers in between all of that dirt interesting okay, okay. now you're not quite as heavy as our 4,000 pound minivan did you guys get a flat tire on the way over <laughs> we didn't we're actually gonna do some more science so we have um, lifted our van I've slid another one of those blocks underneath and then ever so carefully I can actually lower our van down okay and we're gonna allow it to rest right there on top of our block that's pretty amazing, right? Wow. So our van, like I said, it's about 4,000 pounds. Okay, so that means that each tire is supporting approximately 1,000 pounds worth of weight. So we use that same sand and mesh block to hold up 1,000 pounds under our minivan. 
Now this all revolves around friction, you said. Mm -hmm. Basically you're just, uh, what are you, displacing the friction or not allowing the, the, the particles of sand to slide out from each other? Sure, so like dry sand kind of all slides apart, right? It doesn't have that stability. So by adding in our um, screens, our extra layers, we're building up that friction and allowing it to kind of interlock and not be so wobbly. Next time I make a <laughs> sand castle, the more you know. Right, you're gonna be the coolest dad at the beach now. I love that, sounds good. <laughs> I'll be standing on top of my sand yes. castle. Sarah, thank you so much and appreciate all you guys do at the Imagination oh, Station you. as well. Happy to have you here for number 100. Anything big going on with okay. you guys just down the street? Oh, we always have exciting things happening. We have Idea Lab, um, great family workshops okay. happening right now. So stop in on the weekend, check it out, see what's going on. All right, Sarah, thank you so much. Stay with us, we have more WTO 11 Your Day coming right up after this.